What if I told you this came out of this spray can? Let's see how I made that happen. Let's get started on how I made my car look from that to this. Um, I got some gloss black. This is some really good high performance enamel. And I got this glitter stuff. So I'm gonna spray it in the air after I spray this on it and see what the effect is. Instead of spraying it directly on it, I'm just gonna kinda spray it up. So it turned out pretty cool. It has a little sparkle flakes in it. Kinda like the rainbow flake clear. And all I did was spray that up in the air. But now I'm gonna go over it with the color shift since it's over black, and we'll see what it looks like. Well, that looks even cooler. So now it has this like bluish purple color to it with all those flakes in it. And once it dries, it'll look awesome. So can't wait to see this in the sunlight tomorrow. So I'm gonna put this back on as soon as we get this put back together. Now that it's all taped up, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the 320 grit all the way around, scuff it really well. And uh, the hood roof and trunk will be black. So I'm gonna scuff that. I don't know if I'll get it painted in this video, but I know that the rest will be painted. So, let me get started sanding and uh, sit tight. One eternity later. All right, so you can see I got all the areas that are chip sanded. You want to make sure to get them pretty good. I primed some spots that had exposed metal. So now the paint won't chip. Now that it's all prepped, after two and a half hours worth of sanding and taping and metal spot filling, I'm gonna try to hit the roof, hood, and trunk tonight, but if not, it'll be in the next video. But now we, uh, I wiped it all down with acetone. Saved you guys the time of watching all that boringness. And uh, now it's ready to be shot green, so let's get started.
All right, so now that we got it painted, there will be overspray on things if you didn't tape them off, which I didn't want to waste tape. It's stainless steel, polishes up real easy. So just get out your acetone or lacquer thinner, and all you got to do is kind of drape it over like this and just kind of polish like that. See how that worked? And you can do this for almost anything, especially seals, rubber seals because they tend to get paint on them. The exhaust tip is clean now. Simple rag, acetone. Just be careful not to touch the paint because it'll take it right off and no problem. But uh, yep, it's a pretty clean paint job. A lot of people don't like the color, but it's for me, not, not them, so I really don't care. The principle's still the same. No matter the color, you still have to do it light coats and then wait a couple minutes depending on your temperature outside and spray keep spraying but the hood roof and trunk will be gloss black the wings already done I just want to give you a quick rundown of how it looks it's super glossy but here's the wing it's been done for a while but bugs flew in it so I'm gonna have to hand buff that out right there and I took this paint right here and just kind of sprayed it in the air and let it uh, fall in the paint while it was wet so that's why it has that look but once I hand buff this it'll look really good remember guys this is no clear coat and it just looks phenomenal there the Rust-Oleum's uh, advanced formula is some really really good stuff um, also it only took six cans and then I have it'll take about two cans to do the hood roof and trunk so eight cans total to do this thing so um i will get some sleep and i'll be back at it tomorrow but it'll seem like only a few seconds for you guys because of movie magic stay tuned i didn't don't have video of the black i did that just now but it's basically the same thing this looks really good and it's dry it's it's been dry